Stage 12 of the Tour de France was billed as breakaway versus sprinters. Would there be enough going up the road to take the break? Would there be enough sprinters teams with the will, power and the lack of fatigue, or at least relatively, to bring it back? Cavendish, Kroenewege, already stage winners. Binyam Girmaier had won too. Pogacar had been beaten by Vingegaard the night before. The GC race was on, but probably on hold as they left Aurillac and went to Villeneuve-sur-Lot for the first time in 24 years. The only 200 plus kilometre stage remaining on this tour. Deceptively difficult this one, 2,300 metres of climbing. On paper a sprinter's day. Always that doubt planted in the mind. An uncertainty as riders lined up for the start. A sunny day, a very hot day at the Tour. Temperatures well into the 30s and warming up as the day went on. What would happen at the beginning? Kevin Junietz was the first attack. And the attacks rolled on for quite a while. Gachignard got up the road with him. Moves went and were brought back. Squinge and Componards would have a go. Even Louis Meinkies tried to get up the road. What were Antomarche planning? It was clear early on that Fabio Jakobsen was struggling. He was out the back. He'd be on his way out of the race. Michael Mergo hadn't started. He was suffering from Covid. Groupamo were trying to get riders up the road. Abramson was there and then there was this crash. That meant that the riders up the road would not be chased as the yellow jersey was involved. The break was formed and Jakobsen confirming his DNF. Finally, four riders profiting from getting in the breakaway. Behind it started to calm down. There were a few smiles as it came calmer. The yellow jersey returned to the pack. And Tourgis up the road. Pache was there. Madwas alongside Abramson. And as the gap got over three minutes, Alpacine de Koenig didn't waste any time. There was another disappointing moment. Disappointing for Pale Bilbao and Bahrain Victorious. The Basque rider clearly struggling with illness and problems. He also had to abandon the tour. By the intermediate sprint, the gap had come down quite considerably. And that intermediate sprint, Germay extending his lead in the green jersey competition to 75 points. Alpers de Koenig believed, though, their best way of getting their hands back on the green jersey was by winning stages. The breakaway didn't look like they had a prayer to win the stage. Abramson drew level in the polka dot jersey competition again with Tadej Pogacar. He was wearing it, but had lost it the day before to the man in yellow. And the break was caught with 41 Ks to go. What were we heading for then? It looked as though it was going to be a sprint. Control and calm. But then this happened. Another crash. Lutsenko going down, riders going over the top, one of them turning out to be Primoz Roglic. Van der Poel was held up behind, he wouldn't be able to help in the sprint. Roglic was back on his bike, but he looked to be struggling. He was going to lose time when the incident happening around 10 k's from the finish line. Question was how much? It was one and a half minutes here and growing as they led them out into the final kilometer. Arnold Demar in the red jersey had his lead out man. Other riders tried to move up. It was Bahrain leading them into the final 500 metres, with Israel and Ackerman well placed as well. A whole host of different sprinters were in the mix. The lead out was taken. Dan McClay leading Arnold Demar into a position to sprint. He was in the red jersey and he went with around 250 metres still to go. But he moved and deviated, closing the door on Fanat with just less than 200 to go. Through the center came Gurmai. On the right, as we look at it in the gray, that was Philipson. Cavendish was behind. Demar got to go again, as did Fanat. But it was a hat trick 
a beautiful victory and a confirmation of the superiority of Binyam Girmay at this Tour de France. Three for Binny, three for Anto Marché. A big time loss for a resigned looking Roglic. Now, after the sprint, there were two relegations. Demar, as we saw, closed the door. Cavendish also relegated to Girmay, victorious in green. He enjoyed it as well. So Girmay with Wat van Aert in second place. Top 10 looking like that at the end of a fast day. The race finishing faster than the fastest predicted time schedule by the organizers. Two champions behind the podium. Bogacar still in yellow, Bini in green. It's 106 over Evenepoel. Vingegaard at 114. And Primoz Roglic slipping to sixth, now at four minutes 42. Next up, a stage to pull. 165 kilometers to one of the cities that had hosted the Tour de France most down the years. The gates to the Pyrenees will be reached and it's into the mountains that the riders will head at the weekend. Two classified climbs, an intermediate sprint and a lot of taking stock to do in the peloton.